All right, what I have here is a 2016 Chevy Express van. This is a conversion band, band by the Explorer Van Company out of Warsaw, Indiana. It's windy and rainy today, so I'll do the best I can. Forgive me, I'll try to speak over the wind so you can hear uh, my voice over the wind blowing past the microphone here. This van has 30,000 miles in the odometer right now. A three-quarter ton example of a limited SE with the X package. Enclosed running boards, the electronic running boards that is. 20-inch wheels, a front fascia cover, LED running lights, uh, high top with the Vista Bay windows you can see there. It does have the removable swivel captain's chairs and all the leather inside, all the bells and whistles. Nice, nice van. has the uh, sand fade paint job. I, I think they still call it sand fade. Sand fade. It may still be a bronze fade. I'm not sure. I get them confused all the time. It goes from like a champagne to a bronze. Up top, very popular color combination. This particular van seems very clean. Uh, Body-wise and overall, it seems to be in really good shape. A lot of the little things I find on most of them uh, don't seem to be an issue on this particular van. So let's get started on it. Around front here, I don't see any damage on the front end. It looks really clean. Uh, I do see a little scuff below this LED, and that's, well, that's nothing. So that's something that was left on there, wax or something like that. The hood looks really good. I don't see any issues uh, there. It is raining, and the... Uh, I got something. It needs wash, it looks like. I got some stuff on it, but no damage to the body at all. You can tell the day is not the best for this, but I do want to get this video to you. Uh, the wheels, I'm not seeing any curb damage. Tires, uh, they do got some miles on them, but they got about 80% tread left or so. The closed running boards don't have any damage on them. I don't see any dings, dents, or scratches on this side of the van. Electronic running boards. Got two-tone tan and camel inside, or brown and camel. I forget which one's which. Does have a little bit of wear on the side bolster that can be expected. I don't see any grips, tears, or punctures. Just some creasing in the leather. The rest of it looks to be in really good shape. Does have a removable center console with cooler. And there's a uh, storage all the way around the cooler, and it does quick release and come out if you want it to. The passenger seat looks just as good. I don't see any grips, tears, or punctures. They are heated with lumbar, full power. The rear seats. Captain's chairs, carpet looks great, center console looks good. Uh, this is a nice van, very nice van. It does not smell like it's ever been smoked in or used to transport animals. Your upper console there. You have your rear air conditioning, your rear switch bank controls all your mood lighting. Dash is in great shape, does have the dark pearl wood radio with the navigation touchscreen from General Motors. Does have steering wheel controls and a tilt wheel. There's your mileage at 30,000, 045 as of right now. And it's got almost a full tank of gas, which means it's probably worth about twice as much. <laughs> Alright, this wheel looks really good too. Uh, I do have a small, small ding with a scratch right there. But I mean, it's so minor, I, I'm bar I barely caught it in the light. But I did want to point it out to you. It does have the dual exhaust. This looks like it did impact something there at one time. Also, again, very, very minor some tar right there. Those are your backup sensors, class 3 hitch with your 7-pin connection, 7-pin RV connector. Backup camera, fade paints in really good shape, the doors are good. Looks like the blinds are in great shape. And this, this I should be shooting this <clears throat> in high definition, so if you want to stop the video, that should give you pretty good quality to stop and be able to look if you want to lock in on something in particular. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of flaws. This van is in nice, nice condition. There's your vacuum and your jack storage under here. 12 power for the vacuum there. There's your switch bank for your uh, bed. It does move for leg room. And also reclines into a sleeper sofa. That is the, uh, the larger three position, or three section bed. Okay. There's your television up front there, but a 27-inch flat screen. You have mood lighting by your Vista Bay windows, the lighting in the center section. There's curtains, and I'll show you, I'll pull those blinds down all the way around and show you the condition of those blinds as well. But judging from the rest of this van, I would say they're probably in good shape. No disappointments with this unit. There's your rear heat and air behind this cabinet there. Let's get started on the uh, passenger side. So far, so good. I don't see anything down here. The wheel looks to be in really good shape. I don't 
see anything on this side either. Something on the seat right here. Looks like maybe an ink stain. I'll try and get that out for you. Looks like an ink, a pen mark. Actually. Factory glove box and cup holders. Across the front you have 5 volt, 12 volt, 110 volt. And turn the power running boards on and off. On star traction control and your airbag and another 12 volt power outlet. Of course you have your tail haul mode there as well. You see your center console you do have storage and again I think I mentioned it does quick release. There's your game console hookup with another 110 volt outlet in case you want to put a PlayStation or Xbox in here. Charging for your phones and some storage. Let's move on in the back. Looks like your blinds are in good shape so far. Television with surround sound, front speakers for the surround. There are rear speakers in here as well. Swivel seats that do quick, connect, quick disconnect and come out if you want them to. Carpet's in good shape. Uh, looks like I have a broken DVD player. So I will get that put in to have that repaired. It's missing its, um, well, it looks like it works. So it's just missing the flip down thing, but well. I'm supposed to have one. I can't really tell, to be honest with you. So I will have to check on that. Uh, let's see here. Storage for your headphones there. Lighted cup holders. Show you all your other blinds. Both captain's chairs are in great shape. Sofa bed, you've already seen it down. It's in good shape. You do have 5 volt charging for the rear seat passengers. One on each side in the rear here for a total of four outlets. Rear surround sound and some storage. There's your bonds. Nice choice. Nice van. And there's no sunroof in this van. That means there's no sunroof to leak. All right, and it's starting to rain a little harder, so I'm gonna wrap this up and get this video out to you today. If you have any other specific questions, let me know and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much.